Well, hey friends, we are heading out to do some shopping. We are going to Costco. We have a big shop at Costco, and then we are going to go to the bulk store. We might make a stop into HomeSense to pick up some containers to organize my fridge, and we may stop at the grocery store too. Lots to do late in the afternoon, and I still have to dig out the bottom of the driveway because we had a ton of snow. It was actually a snow day for Aubrey today. Um, and so, even though the truck has four-wheel drive, I'm going to kind of get the end of the driveway plowed out so we can get out well and not get stuck. So, come along with us and let's go shopping. So it took us about 45 minutes to plow out the driveway by hand. The snow was so thick and so deep. It was probably a couple feet deep and we had a long way to go. And we needed to get the truck uncovered. And to give you an idea how thick the snow was, my windshield wipers wouldn't even move. So, my arm is throbbing, and now we are going to go. It is 4 o'clock, so we've got a night ahead of us. But it should be fun. So let's go. has the entire bed of the truck filled with stuff, like with dog kennels, and I had no spot to put my groceries, so they are all on the front seat, jammed in on the front seat, and I was able to shove the paper towels in one of the dog kennels because I literally have no idea where it would fit. When you drive a truck and you can't fully use it, so now we're going to run to HomeSense. We're going to take a potty break there and we are going to look for the containers for our fridge organization and then we're going to run to the bulk barn and then we're going to head home. after eight I got the babies put to bed now I'm gonna run outside and get everything out of the truck it is freezing so the good news is my hubby is bringing in all the groceries so I'm gonna get everything laid out and then I'm gonna share with you what I picked up tonight okay let's get started with the haul if you hear some squealing puppies in the background it's puppies <laughs> they're just three weeks old tomorrow and they are on the other side of the wall in the laundry room with their mama so if you hear that, that's what that is. Okay, so this is banana bread. My sister-in-law brought this over for the Super Bowl, and my husband loved it, so he wanted me to pick up a loaf. And then I got two, well, two packs of two packs of eggs. So, lots of eggs. And so what I did is, these are the omega-3 eggs, and I pretty much have eggs every morning for breakfast. So I figured I would eat these eggs for breakfast and then the ones underneath I'm going to do for like baking and stuff. So that's my thought with those. 
um, a big bag of gala apples, the kids favorite favorite snack and even something they've been eating for breakfast is a sliced apple with peanut butter so we are going through apples like crazy. I got more um, English muffins. We went through the last pack that we picked up. If you caught my kitchen day prep, I made my husband um, egg McMuffin sandwiches, and those are all gone. So I may attempt to make some of those again if he wants those. And then this, I don't know why I got this. This is nan bread, and it is so good. I could eat that whole pack. It is so delicious. If you just put like a bit of butter on it um, and pop it in the microwave, oh, it's so good. The great news is we don't have a microwave, so I probably will not eat that without being heated up, but it's delicious. Anyways, Aubrey requested this, and I thought that this would be um, a really great base for um, pizzas, so we could do like individual pizzas with those. And then um, some hamburger buns. And so these, I don't have any special plan for these, but these were only $3 at Costco. And I'm thinking that sometimes we just have hamburgers and we never have buns on hand. So I'm just going to keep these in the freezer so when we do have hamburgers, boom, there we go. Um, blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries, these were all each a really great price despite it being in the dead of winter. And I had actually got berries at the grocery store this past week and they were really inexpensive, like $1.88 a pack. And they were delicious, so I thought I'd take my chances. Um, a big bag of clementines. So a tip about these, I've been finding that every bag that we get of these, there are a couple that are really smushy and that have already gone bad by the time, I mean, we just bring them home and they're already bad. So um, I went ahead and I squished most of these today and they were all pretty firm. Um, and some of the bags at Costco actually felt and they did have squishy ones, so I opted for this bag. So there's a tip for you. Bananas, two bags of milk, mustard, two um, creams, these are for my coffee, and then I got one whipping cream. I don't have anything in particular in mind for this yet, but there's a lot of Trim Healthy Mama recipes that have um, heavy whipping cream in it, so I thought it'd be good just to kind of have on hand. And I picked up chocolate milk for the kids. They asked so sweetly. <laughs> Granola bars for my hubby's lunch. And maple syrup. And then so over here we got our favorite broccoli. Um, if you've never seen these before, they come in four packs, individual packs. So this isn't just one big block of broccoli, um, which is kind of really nice. We love these. Um, Assorted salamis, they are delish. And then, okay, so this is my impulse purchase, purchase tonight. It is dark sweet cherries, and boy, were they good. They had them um, as a sample, and wow, they were delicious. So um, I got these. These were $12 for this whole big bag, and the price of these versus fresh cherries, even in summer, really comparable so at least for what I can get here in Northern Ontario Canada so that was a good deal um, some uh, turkey bacon and then marble uh, marble cheddar cheese and then three butters coffee and then I got the kiddos this honest shampoo and body wash and honey was on my list of things to get, and so I initially picked up the Costco honey, but then they were sampling this, and I like that it was um, organic, and that it was um, Canadian, so got that. And then for meat, we got some ground beef, and then this roast was on sale, so there's two roasts in here, and this was about $26, and they had other roasts that were like way more expensive than this, so that was good. And then their pork chops. So their pork chops, what I do with these is I actually slice them in half. So I get three, six, nine, 18 pork chops um, from a pack. And so this pack is $15. And yeah, so you just slice them in half because they're so thick. They're like this thick. And that's just a whole lot. <laughs> a whole lot of pork chop that we just can't eat. So I do it that way and it makes it um, a lot more economical for us. So that is actually the Costco haul, except for paper towels. There's um, a big container of Kirkland paper towels that is still in the truck. Okay, so now I'm going to share with you what I picked up at HomeSense and the Bulk Barn. Okay, so I went in to HomeSense with the purpose of getting some fridge containers, organization containers. 
I really wanted them in Robin's Egg Blue. However, some of the containers that I had been looking at for the past couple weeks, of course, were gone. Um, so I ended up getting these three containers for now until I can get the vision of what I want in my head. Um, I'll just be patient. I'll come again. So these containers, I really like them because they have a hinged lid. And they are remind me of some Pyrex containers that my mom used to have. Um, they sort of had this similar sort of... Um, I don't know what you call it, grooved lid, um, and they were, were they, yeah, they were Pyrex, they're vintage, vintage Pyrex containers, um, and I loved them, so anyways, they were kind of reminiscent of that, and I really liked that they stacked on top of this container. Okay, and then next I picked up these stacking bins, um, well, they're not stacking bins. They are organizing bins. And the lighting is kind of off, but they are like this turquoisey, minty blue color that I love and that I was really looking for the fridge organization stuff in. And then I picked up this little guy. So I love, 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 love to decorate with bunnies. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a thing. Some people love birds. I love bunnies. And I happen to really like this time of year when the stores start putting out bunnies. So I've already picked myself up a few bunnies as as the time has went on. Um, but I got this little guy tonight. He was 20 bucks. He did have a raffia ribbon around his neck, but I took it off because I just, I didn't like that. But I was kind of really happy to find him. So here's a look at all of the bulk ingredients that I picked up. This is the next day. Um, we had left the bag in the truck. So I picked up these um, coconut chips. I'm going to attempt to make some homemade granola or some homemade granola bars. And I think both the recipes called for coconut chips. So I just bought the bag rather than in bulk. And this is kosher salt. Um, I'm also going to attempt to make my own bread. And one of the recipes called for kosher salt. And then we got some sprinkles. Uh, these are Valentine sprinkles. We're going to make some cookies for some loved ones. And then some white sanding sugar. I got Greek seasoning. And some sunflower seeds. And this was um, whole wheat pastry flour. And again, I can't remember what recipe this was for. I think it may have been the granola bars. I'm not 100%, but... Anyways, it was on my list, so um, I got it. And then cumin. I'm going to make some homemade spice blends, and one of them is going to be tacos. And I don't have a recipe in mind, but it seems that a lot of the recipes that I see have cumin in it, so I just picked some up. And then nutmeg. So believe it or not, this little bag cost as much as like this big bag of flour. This is rye organic stone ground flour, um, and crazy enough, that little thing is the. It was actually um, almost the third most expensive thing, or the second most expensive thing, in this whole haul. Crazy. I'm um, some organic spelt flour, so I am going to attempt to make my own um, sourdough starter and make my own sourdough bread, um, rye flavored. So. Oh, big thing. I don't know who I am, but I'm going to attempt to do that. And then some unsweetened uh, flaked coconut. And then this is some icing sugar. And then this will be uh, for the frosting for the Valentine's cookies. And because the kids were so good, what I did was I let them each choose a treat um, from some of the bulk bins. And I let them each get two pieces of candy. So Aubrey decided she wanted two caramels. And Colt, um, he didn't really pick, but I thought um, a little chocolate heart would be good for him. So they each got two pieces, and they ate them on the way home, um, one piece. And then so they have these for after school. They were both thrilled with that idea. And um, it was a little treat for them for being so good. So my entire bill was... Um, $21.92 as with some tax. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us this evening as we went shopping and stocked up our home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.